Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of business rule, today we are discussing query business rule. So the very first question is what is query business rule? So a query can be considered as any interaction with the database. Whether you are doing a transaction like insert, delete or update or you are just fetching the result, searching any instance, any interaction with database is the query. That's why a query is the very first thing whenever you initiate any transaction or initiate any operation. So query business rule will run always, always at the very beginning. So this is a demo instance where I have written this test query business rule on incident table. And here I'm just displaying this basic message along with the current date and time. This is a before query business rule. Okay. Now let me open the incident table. Let's go to incident here. Click on open. You see it is executed because we are just doing a basic transaction. We are just asking the database to open the record or to open the list. That's why it is executed. Now see here. I clicked on here. I want to update the sort description. Again it is executed. Let me update it. Save it. Again you see this is executed. So this is how the query business rule work. It execute in every every instance. So let me give you some real time example. So this is an out of box business rule which is on user table and what it is doing. It is just checking if the logged in user is admin or not. If it is admin then in that case it is not running this business rule and if the user is not admin in that case it is running this business rule. It is just adding this active condition. It means whatever you query from user table it will return only the active records. So let me show you. Right now I am logged in as a Omendra Singh that is admin. So if I open user table you see there are total 644 records where I am able to see both active and false right now let me impersonate to one ITIL user that is able tutor so this is a non admin user just keep in mind so here this business rule should work so now let me reload this so here you see it is only displaying the active users so the query business rule is running well in front and it is executing this query that is current add active equal to true. So that's why we are seeing only and only active user for non admin users. So this is one of the top example of query business rule. In this way you can analyze your requirement and see where this query business rule fits in your requirement. I hope you understand what is query business rule and its application. I'll see you in next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.